I'm Rachna and I'm back with a new lesson. Well, last night um, I was sleeping when my friend called. Well, that is what today's lesson is about using the past continuous tense. Okay, so first let's understand the past continuous tense is used when you talk about something that was happening in the past. So clearly it's a past action, it is no longer on in the present. Okay, so we have a verb in the ing form. So you are it is sleeping and then you, you have to use an auxiliary verb was or were okay so I can't say I sleeping when my friend called it makes no sense because the auxiliary verb was or were helps you to identify that the tense the continuous tense is in the past continuous okay it is these two auxiliaries that will help you to identify it is a past continuous tense. So remember to use was were with an ing verb. Okay. So now when do we use the past continuous tense? Well, if I say I was watching TV when she called. Of course, I'm talking about past. It could be last week. It could be last night. So last night I was watching TV when she called. Now, this action was going on. when a shorter action interrupted okay this was a longer action now here it doesn't matter what time you started watching tv until what time you are watching but yes the action was on the past continuous tense doesn't deal with the action starting or ending all it states that the action was going on in the past so well what was going on in the past i was watching tv when she called now this is a shorter action so sometimes when you want to say a longer action was happening and a shorter action interrupted remember the shorter action is always in the simple past okay so this was a longer action what was happening i was watching tv when a shorter action interrupted what is the action when she called okay so we use the past continuous tense to say a shorter action interrupted when a longer action was happening. Remember, it doesn't matter what time the longer action started or ending, but yes, it was going on in the past. Okay. In my next example, at 8 p.m., I was eating dinner. Well, when the clock struck 8, okay, at this time, this action was going on. Now, this does not mean that I started reading at 8 p.m. All it means that at this time I was eating. I may have started at even 7.45. Okay, it really doesn't matter. It has no relevance. But yes, when the clock struck 8, I was eating. For example, last evening at 6 o'clock, it was raining. So it may have started at 5.30. It doesn't matter. But yes, at 6 o'clock, it was raining. So the action was going on in the past. Okay, the next example, I was cooking dinner and he was reading. Well, now you see you have two actions going on in the past. So when you have two actions that were simultaneously happening in the past, you can use the past continuous tense for both the actions. So at the same time, okay, when I was cooking, he was reading. So two people were doing the respective actions, but at the same time. Or well, you can say last night at the party, I was singing and my friends were dancing. So when I was singing at the same time that I was singing, they were dancing. So two actions that were simultaneously happening in the past. So you can use the past continuous tense. Okay. Well, the last example, they were yelling at each other. Okay. Supposing um, I'm talking about a past um, action that was repeated all the time and that was going on all the time. Well, I can just add something like they were always yelling at each other. Okay, so something that is of annoyance, irritation, but kept happening in the past, you can say, well, they were always yelling at each other. So this action was always going on in the past. So you can use a word like always to say that it was repeated again and again, and it was always going on in the past.
Okay, so this is another way of using the past continuous tense. When someone was doing something all the time that was of annoyance or irritation, you can always use a word like they were always yelling at each other, they were always fighting, they were always cribbing, they were always complaining. But of course, it was always happening in the past. Okay, so well, this is how we use the past continuous tense. I'm sure you've understood the lesson and now you can go ahead and use it. Please do put in your comments and queries if any. I'll be back soon with a new lesson. Till then, take care and bye.